Hey everybody, Dorian here, and today's the day after after Christmas. <laughs> and you know what that means. It's Morphin Time! Took the shit out. All right, so like I said, it's the day after after Christmas, which means today is my after Christmas Christmas post, where I go over my entire Christmas haul, show you guys what I got. Holly jolly, motherfucker. Uh, so first things first, I'm gonna show you the first gift of the day, which you've already seen, my White Ranger Morpher. I know what you guys are thinking. Look at this fucking weeb over here with his power morpher, but it is fucking dope, dude. It's the legacy one from uh, from a few years ago back in San Diego. And uh, just take a look at it. It's metal. It's got a cool little power coin. Flip it down, press the button, pops it open. If you hold it, it plays the song. And then pop out the power coin. Oh, it's not gonna focus in on it, but yeah, so. I am in love with this thing. I am absolutely in love with this thing. The next thing I got is this pair of Razor Krakens to go over my head. Um, I don't know how they actually look on camera, so let me look real quick. I mean, it's kind of bulky. They're pretty bulky, but these ones are really cool. They got um, really, really, really great bass. So horror games are gonna sound fucking amazing in these. And yeah, they're a little bulky and I might look a little dorky wearing them on Let's Plays, but I don't give two shits, motherfucker. I like them too, cause the, the chroma on them uh, changes colors and stays like that. And they, I mean, uh, just fucking, they're nice headphones, right? I'm, I'm excited to have them. All right, so now a couple other things I got. Put those over there. First up is going to be this. Now, it may look like an ordinary, 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 briefcase to you, but when opened, it is a record player. Um, speakers are right here. Also connects Bluetooth to my phone. Um, and then I got a couple vinyls. So going from the top of the stack and the least colorful to the most colorful, Bleed American, Jimmy World. Fucking love this album. So you got Bleed American, naturally. Um, Praise Chorus, The Middle, Sweetness, Hear You Me. Um, doesn't have pain, that's not this album, but Bleed American is one of my favorite albums of all time. And not just because Jimmy e. World is local to, you know, fucking Arizona. I mean, they, they went to school like 15 miles from my house, but I fucking love them. Fucking love them. So then we got Blink-182 California. Now, I know what a couple of you might be thinking, hey, Dorian, why do you get California and not, you know, fucking like Enema of the State? And my reasoning is, I actually love California. It's a great album. Um, yeah, a part of my heart like aches at the fact that there's no Tom DeLonge, but No Future and Kings of the Weekend are two of my favorite songs. I mean, I fucking love it. Love it, love it, love it. Cynical's really good too. Um, it's just an amazing album, it really is. And Skiba, like, though he's no Tom DeLonge, on the songs that they wrote for California, he does phenomenal. And like I said in my Blink-182 concert vlog um, a couple months back, Though he may not be entirely comfortable and do too well, in my personal opinion, at their older music, California is still a great album. Now with that aside, let's take a look at the actual album real quick. The actual vinyl. Oh, there we go. The actual vinyl is the sick ass red. Like, look at this shit, dude. Like, that is so fucking cool. So fucking cool. And then my next two vinyls are actually one in the same. Rise Again, Siren Song of Counterculture. <sighs> this is, hands down, without a doubt, my favorite album. I haven't done a vlog about this yet, and I've been meaning to for a while, so I might do that soon. If you guys haven't noticed my tattoo either. Rise Against is my favorite band, and for so many reasons that I'm not gonna get to in this vlog. I'll do it at a later time, but a lot of people say this, but 
I honestly would not still be here if it was not for this band. Um, a lot of dark shit happened in my life, and I was kind of alone. And uh, I mean, it, it, it's it's more than I can than I can express. And this is the album that started it all. To be to be completely honest, <laughs> "Swing Life Away" is the song that started it all, um, because that was the first Rise of Against song I ever heard, first music video I ever saw. And I got this album on CD right after, and I listened to this thing every day, every day. I had two al I had three album CDs, and it was American Idiot, Siren Song, Counterculture, and Barry Naked Ladies' Greatest Hits. Anyways, anyways, I got two of these, two copies of these. One is going on my wall. Um, blink my goal on my wall, to be honest, too, because I really like that red. Um, but. This one's going on my wall, and then I have another one that Amelia got me that is black um, for me to, to be able to play. Um, the reason this one's going on my wall is because it's a limited edition. There's only like 2,000 of them. And it is this sick orange color. Orangish red, fiery. It has um, a little greeny pattern, marbled pattern in it as well, and it's just... I love this thing. I, I, lo I love it. And that's it for my vinyls and that sentimentalness that came out of nowhere. So I am sorry about that. Totally killed the energy. Anyways, going on. Also got this nifty difty lint lizard. This shit is literally a hose for your fucking vacuum and you stick it in the air vent. Like, what the fuck, man? Get in the box. No. Get in the box. Fuck you. Um, so yeah, yeah, last gift is this uh, limited edition Pokemon th new 3DS. Cool little story behind this. Um, I put it on my list because I needed a new 3DS, and I was like, oh, you know, I fucking love Pokemon. So, and there was a lot of them at the time. So I put them on my list, and my mom could not find these things. Like, she couldn't find them anywhere. Um, it was the week before Thanksgiving and they had just sold out out of nowhere. Like I had been at GameStop, they had plenty of them in stock when I had thought and um, they ended up selling out that week. So I find this out on Christmas that the day before Thanksgiving she drove up to Prescott where is where they had the last Pokemon 3DS at GameStop. And for those of you outside of Arizona, this ended up, because it was the day before Thanksgiving, right? This ended up being a three and a half hour drive there and back. Uh, for she did it before the day before fucking Thanksgiving just so I could have Something special and Honestly like it's a DS, you know, like I could get any DS and be happy But the fact that she went to such lengths to get this just makes it Worth so much more, you know, I feel bad sometimes when people do stuff like that for me, especially my mom, goes to that kind of lengths. Just I know it makes her happy, but like to have someone who would do something like that, just I don't know. I don't know. It's I'm getting all I'm getting all sentimental again. I'm trying not to be sentimental today. It's fucking I don't know. It just means a lot, you know, just to have someone who loves you like that. And I hope. I hope I am able to to become successful and, and make the, the kind of money I want to make that I don't have to work anymore. Like this isn't really work to me. I mean, I work, um, but YouTube's more of a passion. And But just to have the money to be able to give her everything she wants, to be able to do these kinds of things for her that she does for me, it's, it's I don't know. I don't know. I'm getting off track, um, but it was a really cool gift, and I don't know, I love it, I love all of them, I love all of them, they're so great. So thank you everybody, if you're watching this, who was there with me for Christmas, um, by chance my mom's watching this, or Amelia, or, you know, any of my parents, you know, my, my, my dad, uh, and stuff like that. But yeah, that, that wraps just about wraps up my Christmas. Um, 
I hope you all had a great Christmas as well. Why don't you leave some comments down below if you'd like with some gifts you had or some stories about your Christmas. And if there's enough of them, I might do a vlog. I'll probably do a vlog if there's enough of them reading over your Christmas comments and posts and your stories. And um, I'd like to see them. Also, if you have me on Twitter, make feel free to just um, tag me in some posts about your Christmas or, you know, whatever you'd like. Um, also do it on Facebook. Send me some messages on there. Um, all my links are at the end of this video when you hit my end card. Um, so yeah, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, um, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Other than that, I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'll catch you all in my next video. Later.